In this short video tutorial, I'm going to show you a tool called Tally.tl, or just Tally. And this is one of a series of videos that I've been making on useful tools for teachers and students that don't require a registration. There's no need to log into an account or remember a password. You can simply go to the website and use it. If you're interested in watching more videos about these types of tools, please check out my playlist on tools with no registration required. But let's look right now at Tally.tl. As it says here, its purpose is to help you create polls in no time. And you could use this as a simple, great way to do formative assessment with your students or just to find out what your students think and what their preferences are and things like that. So here at tally.tl, when you get there, you're welcomed just by exactly what you see here. And it says start by asking a question. So for example, let's say in a language arts class, I could ask which of these books did you most enjoy reading? So there's my question. Pressing enter will create the poll. Next, I can add a possible answer. So I could put in of mice and men, perhaps, the stranger, maybe crime and punishment, and let's say the great Gatsby. And in each case, I'm simply pressing enter when I'm done typing it up. I press enter and it's good to go. Now that's really all there is to creating your polls at tally.tl. These are one question polls, very simple. This poll is ready now to receive answers. And I'm gonna minimize a little bit so you can see the whole poll right there in front of you. But here it is. The address for this poll is up at the top. So you might not have noticed this subtle change, but as I was typing, as I created the poll question, the address, the URL of the website changed and it became forward slash and then this suffix that was added to it. So this is unique to this exact poll question and I can just highlight that URL, copy it, and I could post it to my teacher website, let's say a Weebly website or a Google site or whatever it is that you use for your teacher website, even Canvas or another LMS. Just post that URL. Anyone that clicks the URL will be taken to this exact poll and they'll be able to vote. So let's say student A votes for Of Mice and Men and another student votes for Crime and Punishment. That's all tallied. And another student, let's say, votes for The Great Gatsby. So that's all tallied and as the teacher, I'll be able to see the results. Now I may need to refresh the page occasionally, but upon refreshing the page, I'll be able to see what the students think. So this is a very simple tool, but it's got some good uses, especially in education, and I love that you don't have to have a registration in order to use it. So I hope you enjoy using Tally, and please consider connecting with me on my social media sites, such as Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And also, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos about technology for teachers and students, and watch for a new video at least every Monday.